Guys, in our last video, I did something unforgivable. I goofed up in another trade like I did in my Pirates playthrough. I thought I had traded Bernardo Flores for um, Devin Williams. Turned out it was freaking Hunter Green. I lost my mind. One of our top prospects just gone poof. So I did something that I'm not very proud of. Well, I'm proud. I mean, whatever. It's whatever. Uh, I hadn't played any games yet. And I realized I hadn't saved. So I, for the first time, I force quit. Uh, I tried the first, I tried to go in, trade for him back. Like just, I was like, hey, I got to make this right. I'll dump my prospects, like whatever. And I force quit um, uh, the game and went back and made the same trade that I intended to make. I didn't feel so bad because it's not like I did it to replay a game or something like that. As you know through my channel, I don't do that. Um, but I was like, I gotta, I gotta get. It was too big of a fuck up not to do that. So y'all had probably seen it. You're probably like, what is? What did he just do? Oh my god! So I went back. I tried to make it right. I couldn't. They wouldn't give up Hunter Green unless it was for like Kalenic. And I was like, I can't. That was too big of a screw up. Um, so I went back in. Same trades that we walked through in the last episode, only this time I didn't fuck up, and I put, actually, Bernardo Flores is the uh, is our trade um, uh, partner, not, um, um, not, um, or, 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 or not the, um, 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 not the uh, actual Hunter Green, I, I like, like an idiot. So, anywho, we're back. And after that screw up that you guys were probably laughing at me for realizing I, I hadn't, I hadn't, uh, I haven't realized my air probably giggling at me behind my back. He, he, he. It's okay. I found it immediately after. Had a damn near panic attack about it. Uh, cause I saw that Flores was still on our roster. And I was like, I am 90% sure I just traded him. So I was like, well, who like, who did I trade instead? Thinking, well, if it's not a big deal, if it's no one great, I might just continue without it. No, Hunter Green. I was like, oh, God, here we go. So that's that. We're back. All is right in the world. Um, we saved it. We're ready to rock and roll now. So we've done our trade deadline. Um, we've traded for Aaron Nola. We've traded for Devin Williams. Um, everything, you know, we don't want to mess with too much of this, of the, of the lineup. We have, um, you know, we go to meet the team. Um, team chemistry, it's still ecstatic. Uh, we brought up Nolan Jones. I should say that we brought up Nolan Jones and we sent down Nolan Gorman. Um, Jones was, uh, hitting well at AAA, um, captain class and he kind of deserved his shot now um Gorman wasn't playing poorly but I feel like he could maybe do with a little bit more seasoning in triple a so uh we sent him down and we might flop foot flop the two who knows but anyways it's time to now simulate we're on a eight game win streak and we have our last two se last two games against the uh Marlins uh, it's for the end of for the end of July, so we'll just start simming away and see if we can keep up our our wild win pace here. So we'll simulate uh, game three of the series and eight to seven loss. Okay, so now we'll see if we can win the four game series, and we do not. We lose five nothing. Um, Riley Green uh, gets better. Omar Estevez gets better here. Hunter Green decreases. Maybe that's just. Maybe that's getting me back for that stupid trade. Um, but, okay. So, we lost two in a row after, first two after the trade. That sucks. Trade deadline is over. We are seven, seven uh, games up on the Padres at this point, and we are now in the month of August. So, we will sim through um, the month of August here and see how we go. So, huh. Two two game series against the Texas Rangers. That's kind of weird, but um, all right. So first game in August, four two victory. All right, uh, Pache is back off the IL. We'll redo the starting lineup, and he gets slotted in at the eighth spot. Um, our lineup is deep as all heck, and Nolan Jones is on fire, baby. 
So let's see the 4 2 win. What went down there? Uh, uh, Rosarina, uh, 2 RBI. Is he even still. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Is he still up? <laughs> Did we send him down? Um, Noise, 1 for 3. Uh, Jones had the day off, it looked like there. Um, Riley Green. I'm not sure why he's up. Okay, he's back down, I guess. Uh, Woods Richardson, six and two thirds, seven Ks, four hits. Just kind of a weird, um, uh, weird when I sent him down. But anyways, uh, Woods Richardson, player of the game. Uh, Williams, hey, there you go. Look at that save. One inning pitched, one hit, one K gets the save. That might be that's his first save since coming over. Um, so we'll back out here. Let's see if we can take the second of two games against the Rangers. And we do. Alejandro Kirk out for three or four weeks. Okay. Well, luckily we have Herrera uh, at AAA who has uh, uh, been a uh, – who's a more than capable at being a catcher at the major league level. So we just we just looked through him in our last episode. So we won't spend time doing that there, but absolutely more than capable – of um, crushing, crushing things. So let's see. So to make sure everyone's up, who's supposed to be up here? All right. So now Aaron Nola gets the start in our first of a four-game first of a four-game set against the Giants. Nola on the mound, and five-one loss. Oh, see game two. 2-1 victory. I like that quite a bit. Bruhan, 2 for 4. What happened here? Bottom of the ninth. Christian Pache, run scoring, sacrifice, fly. Way to go. Hauk goes 7 and 2 thirds, 6 Ks, 1 run, 1 earned run, 68 game scores. Rosarina um, was injured. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Um, diagnosis pending. That's never fun. So let's see. Game 3 against the Giants. And we squeak out a 5-4 victory. And looks like uh, Pepiot is back. He's going to be on rehab. And he could be someone who comes and, in, 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 uh, you know, provides a boost to us. I don't know about this year, but definitely next year. Hasn't thrown above double A um, yet in his career. But, you know, has the ratings to be a pretty good uh, pretty good arm. Um, let's see what's injured with the Rosarina. Okay, hand soreness. Not a huge deal there. But we uh, clinched a series uh, draw, at least, against these Giants. So what happened? Bob in the eighth, we scored three runs. Um, two runs single to left. And that's how we took the lead by from Nolan Jones, baby. Look who's back. Back again. Jimenez goes four for four in that game. Uh, Bruhan uh, scores three runs despite only getting uh, one hit. Scooble, five and two-thirds, two Ks, four and runs. Not a great outing for him. Uh, Devin Williams, though, gets uh, his second save as a Dodger. So let's see. Can we clinch the series victory against the Giants? We do. one nothing. All right, let's check out what happened here. Uh, Kalenic. Um, let's see. Bomber the first. Uh, Kalenic just smacked the home run, and that was the only offense scored um, all game. Woods Richardson goes eight innings, uh, seven Ks, four hits. Very good game for him. Uh, greater all, uh, DeGus um, pitched. Uh, they split the, the ninth inning there, uh, get, grabbing the hold and the save. So we won the three game or the four game set against the Giants, and now we finish. We have another uh, two game series against the Rangers. This time in Texas, um, and not home in LA. So game one of that two-game set, we win 9-4. to four. Uh, Jimenez has four RBI. Um, Nolan Jones has three RBI there. Um, he hit uh, – Jones and Jimenez both hit home runs that game. Uh, Mount Castle goes one for four. Um, pretty good offensive outing. Um, ugh, Josiah Gray injured while pitching. Tender shoulder one week. Okay. Santana goes to two and two thirds for the victory. McClanahan pitches five with set with seven Ks. Um, mm. Okay, let's see here. Josiah Gray, tender shoulder, 
one week. I feel like I might want to put him just very quickly on the injured list. 15-day DL. So he'll, what, miss three starts? Okay, we'll do it. We'll do that. We will bring up um, our mate, Chris Paddock. We'll throw him right into the mix there, uh, into the rotation. And we'll just keep chugging along. So let's go back. Let's see. Can we take the second of the two games set against the Rangers? And we do. Uh, Colome completed his uh, rehab assignment, which is great, or his IL time. He's going on his rehab assignment. We will send him. We'll just put him back to the minor leagues, or we'll cut him. I mean, I don't, he doesn't really have a spot anymore um, in the um, uh, in our bullpen. I don't think. Uh, but let's go back to the schedule. And that was a big win, 17-2. to two. Um, Who was on the mound? Nola, hey, got his first win as a Dodger. Six Ks, five hits, six and a third, two runs, 60 game score. Uh, Mount Castle was the player of the game. Uh, Mount Castle, four for five, five RBI. Kalenic had five RBI. Hayes goes three for five. Hayes just, he just puts up every time he's in the lineup, every single time. Um um, so yeah, there we go. So we took in the first two weeks, we took four from the Rangers. Um, so pretty good start to August for us. Let's keep on keeping on. We have three against the Diamondbacks game one, eight to five loss. Okay. Let's see game two, three, nothing victory. I like the looks of that. And all three came to the bottom of the seventh. Um, Jones and uh, Mount Castle uh, with RBIs um, in this game. Halk goes seven innings pitched, eight Ks, two hits, three walks. Great start for him. And then Greater All and Williams comes in to close the door shut. They've been a dynamic duo since uh, since Williams has come over. So good win there for the Dodgers. And now let's see if we can uh, um, take the series – here and we do three to two in ten innings, an up and down game. We jump out to a two nothing lead. They come back and we end one and we end it in the bottom of the tenth with a run. Uh, a Rosarina dramatic solo home run. There we go. A Rosarina going two for five with two runs, um, two strikeouts, leaving four on base in the game. Uh, Ruiz chipping in two RBI as well. Paddock goes seven innings, just just a stud. Uh, seven innings, six Ks, three hits, two runs, two walks, 71 game score. Um, just comes in right from Triple A. Doesn't give a what. He's like, yeah, you guys need me. I'll pitch well. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. So now we have three against the Marlins again. Let's see. If game one, we take with a four to two victory. Um, we score three of our four runs in the bottom of the seventh and the eighth. Uh, Ruiz with two RBI. Riley Green, uh, pinch hitter. Um, is that a pinch hit home run? It is. Uh, looks like in the bottom of the eighth. Just goes deep, pinch hitting for uh, for Dykeman. Not really sure why he's still up. Um, I thought I sent him down. I thought I sent you down. I mean, look, he did really crush um, at AAA, though. We're like, oh, well, he skipped AAA. Let's send him down. Bro, 485, hitting 485 in nine games. I guess the guy might be ready for prime time. All right, let's see. Game two against the Marlins. 15-4 win. Man, we are raking right now. Um, we scored four right in the second. We scored three in the fifth, three in the seventh, four in the eighth, uh, 19 hits total. Bruhan had nine RBI, went four for five with nine runs batted in. That's incredible. What uh, home runs? He had two. He had a two-run home run, and then he had a grand slam. So that gives you six right there. Um, wow. Nine. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Nine RBI. 
hitting 286, 11 home runs. That's a little bit of a surprise. He has a little bit of pop there, 45 RBI. Um, Jimenez adds in three RBI, not to be overshadowed by Brujan, goes two for six. Kalenic, three for five. Nolan Jones, two for four. Mountcastle, three for five. Pache, one for three with two RBI. Um, and then Herrera, our backup backup catcher, goes three for five. God, we are deep. That's what she said. Um, Nola gets a second win as a Dodger, six and two thirds, five Ks, four and runs, 45 game score. Bruhan ties the Los Angeles Dodger regular season game record for RBI with nine. Man, what a freaking game. Our offense, 17 runs and then 15 a week later. Let's see, can we sweep the Marlins? We don't. Uh, Josiah Gray suffered a setback. At least four more days. Okay, well, it's glad, I'm glad we put them on the I.L. then. Um, but, hey, it's tough to sweep teams. So now we got a four-game set here against the Diamondbacks. 3-1 loss. Yikes. 9-4 victory. Who played well there? Mount Castle, three RBI, three hits. Pache, uh, three RBI, three hits. And then Paddock goes four and a third. Um, decent start for, for Paddock, who was injured. Son of a gun. Oh, okay, finger blister one one day. But you know how those blisters can be, though. Watch out for those. All right, game three of our four-game series, and we get the 8-1 victory. Um, we didn't need the runs in the eighth and the ninth to win the game, but we got them anyway. Uh, Rosarina, two for five with five RBI. Herrera, again, our backup, backup catcher, uh, two for five with two RBI. We are just deep as heck. Um, Wood Richardson, Woods Richardson, seven innings pitched, 3K, four hits. Um, another ball game with, with 10 plus hits. So let's see, can we, so can we take the this, this series against the Diamondbacks here? And we don't. 14 game shutdown streak by Greater all ended. Okay. Uh, split the series, again. Tough to win those. Tough to keep, you know, sweeping. So that's not a. It's not the end of the line there. So okay, San Francisco Giants. Game one of our series, we lose four nothing. Game two. Uh oh, we're on a little bit of a losing streak here. Uh oh, uh oh. Four games. This is this isn't helping us when I'm trying to reach my my goal. My win total that I really, really want to hit. This does not help. All right, Josiah Gray. You are back. Chris Paddock. You are out. So let's see what we got here. We'll go to transactions. We will send Paddock back down. Um, Emmanuel Clase, Class A, I mean, you're back up. Not sure why you were sent down in the first place. Uh, Colome, I guess he's up. How's he pitching? Wow, I feel like those ratings went up since the last time, since the last time we saw him. Okay, all right, well, keep him up then. All right, so we are on a four-game losing streak. Alejandro Kirk. All right, well, he's back now. That do anything to my pitching there? No, it does not look like it. Okay, good. Nola on the mound. Game one against the Braves. Guys, guys, guys. Josiah. Moderate effect expected to take. Yo, do I need to put you on the 60-day DL just to keep you in freaking bubble wrap right now, bro? I don't like that when people keep, when players keep getting hurt like that. That's typically not really a good sign of things to come. So, all right, well, Paddock, you're back up here. Take the taxi back because um, you're back in the lineup. Jeez, oh, man. 5 nothing win. First win in a week. Uh, Bruhan goes two for four. So does Jimenez. Pache goes three for four with two RBI. Um, Gray, 
uh, Josiah Gray only an inning pitched, but then Santana comes in four innings, seven strikes out, seven strikeouts across the four innings. Uh, Class A gets the hold, uh, column A, and then McClanahan come in to finish it out. Um, so, all right. Now our f- the rubber match here against the Braves. 7-6 victory in 10 innings. Uh, we needed we had a three-run comeback in the bottom of the ninth, and then we added the game winner in the 10th. Um, Pache in the bottom of the 10th, run scoring single. Man, he's had so many game-winning hits in that eight hole. Um the Rose Arena had three RBI. Kalenic had two. Um, Bruhan went two for four. I feel like he goes two for four every game. Um, Scooble, four and a third, 6K, six runs, not great. Um, but Williams comes in at the end and gets the win. Uh, so we take the series against the Braves. And now we have a, uh, a set starting against the Padres here. And we're not going to look at the standings to see where we're at yet. I don't. They're probably not right behind us, but that little stretch of losing might have hurt us. All right, it's a three-game series that leads us into September, so we will go ahead and sim that right now. First game, 3-1 victory. Okay, what happened here? Man, we like to score runs, whether they're needed or not, at the end of the game. Um, got all of our runs in the bottom of the 7th and 8th. Uh, Bruhan had, had two RBI. He took Austin Adams um, over the fence. Um, with a two-run home run. Um, and then Mount Castle added an RBI as well. Paddock goes six innings, six Ks, four hits, one earned run. Pretty good start for him, 64 game score. Um, so that'll see the second game. Let's see if we can clinch the series victory here. And we do. Um, okay, our guys are improving, it looks like, here. That's awesome. It looks like we all of a sudden have a first baseman that can play. Um, so that's all good stuff. Everyone's improving. Happy days are here again. So now let's see the schedule and this will be, let's see, can we sweep the Dodgers? Hey, we do a five to nothing win. Aaron Nola gets the win. Um, Bruhan two for three. Kalenic two for four with two RBI. Um, Ruiz two for four. Um, and Aaron Nola goes five and two thirds, seven Ks. Uh, Column A pitches a third of the inning. Class A goes two and two thirds, uh, and then Degus um, with um, with an, a third of an inning pitch at the end. So now rosters expand here. Let's go to our uh, our lineup. Let's see rosters expand. Check out our pitching. Not sure how much they expanded by, to be quite frank. But we will all right paddock doing well let's go back home here josiah gray that's 10 days left on the il despite being healthy but hey dude that's what you get when you keep getting hurt you might send him for a rehab assignment to be honest um but okay so now we're 10 games up on the padres and the Padres are nine and a half up on this for, uh, for the wild card spot over the Braves, and the Braves are another six games up uh, on the Marlins for the second wild card spot. So all in all, we're like twenty five games up on a playoff spot. So I don't even know if there are that many games left. So I believe we should be there. There has to be, um, but um, I believe that there we should be clinching here. Let's see what our magic number is. Um, let's see magic number in the standings. Uh, 24. So 24 wins are a combination of us winning and them losing, but that's our magic. And by they, I mean the Padres. That's our magic number. Let's see. Run differential-wise, us and the Padres, top two in the major leagues, and we're really lapping everybody. Uh, the only ones that can even hold a candle to us are the Blue Jays. Uh, but we are both absolute raking right now, and the Padres are on a five-game losing streak. That's no bueno for them. Um, but we have 90 wins, which is, I mean, again, New York Yankees, 84 wins. They're six back. We are, we're, we're crushing the field right now. Um, so we'll go back to the team home screen. Um, one of the things I just want to look at is transactions. 
So I also want to check on the players that we have locked up here uh, at, our, at our certain spots. So um, looks like Gorman is continuing to crush AAA ball, hitting over 300, 152 OPS plus, 2.7 war. He's going to get hard to deny. He's going to have to come up. Austin Martin, um, his, he's getting really close. How's he doing against AAA? Um, okay, I mean, not terrible, but also not great. I feel like this is a good challenge for him right now. But, man, if he could end this year with all those um, with all those potential rankings, um, actually being his, his, real, his sustained rankings or ratings, that would be incredible. Um, yeah, next year he's going to come up and I think have a huge impact for us. So anyone else that we made sure to lock there – Triple A, no double A. Cody Hose, how's he doing? Okay, I mean he's doing fine at double A, I guess. Nothing, nothing cr uh, crazy, but he'll probably be on the trade block this off season. Let's see, anybody else? Any pitchers or anything like that? Oh, Triple A. I am curious to see our relief pitcher. Um, let's see, who did we? I gotta find him here. Real quick. He was in single. Nick Robertson. Okay, let's see how he did. He's back to uh, A-plus balls. Oh, so he never actually played a game in AAA. They demoted him back down. Um, so I'm just curious how he does. I'm going to bring him. Let's just at least put him in double-A to, to see how he does. See how he does. Um, we'll lock him there as well, just making sure he gets reps. Um, and against, you know, maybe a little bit more skilled competition. Hunter Green, the guy who we accidentally traded away and then went back and got. Um, okay, he's doing uh, fine, uh, you know, against uh, double-A competition. Probably time to look at, oh, maybe not this year, but next year move him up to triple-A, and then we'll have to find a spot in him in the rotation. So, yeah, we have a good problem. We have a ton of spots and not sure where to put everybody. So... Um, that's a good, good problem to have. So we looked at the standings. We are crushing the teams right now. Let's go ahead and look through the stats as we round the final full month of the season. And we'll just look at, like, the, again, NL only stats for batting leaders. Kalenic leading the league in uh, average, which is great. Kalenic top five in home runs. Kalenic top three in on-base percentage, Kalenic top four in slugging percentage. Um, Kalenic and Bruhan top four, both top four in hits right behind each other. Bruhan top three in at-bats. Kalenic top four in war. Kalenic top two in on-base on, on plus slugging. Um, Kalenic uh, leads the league in total bases. Bruhan and Jimenez, uh, I guess that's not a good one, caught stealing. Um Let's see, Kalenic, uh, top three in OPS plus. Kalenic, uh, number one in win probability added. Kalenic, number four in weighted um, uh, in WOBA. So Kal Kalenic just putting on a show right now. Pitching leaders. Yeah, this is one where I expect us to kind of own. In the NL, earn run average, one, three, and six spots um, we have on our team. Um, and wins, uh, Simeon Woods Richardson tied for second. Um, DeGus tied for second in saves. War, Noel is number two. Gray is number five. That's despite going to the injured list twice in the last month. Uh, strikeouts, Nola number two. Shutouts, Nola tied for second. Innings pitched, Nola tied for number two. Strikeouts to walk ratio, Gray number one, Nola number five. Strikeouts per nine, Nola third, Scooble six. Walks per nine innings, Gray number one. Scooble uh, number uh, four in home runs against, but I don't know if that's actually a good thing. Um, walk a Whip, Gray number one. It's under a one whip for the season. Hauk number six. Opponents batting average, Hauk, Gray, Woods, Richardson all in the top six. Babip, Hauk, Woods, Richardson, Gray all in the top six. Um, uh, war gray number one, Nola number two, 
ERA plus, Gray number one, Woods Richardson number two, FIP, Gray number two, Nola number four, win percentage, Gray number one, Woods Richardson two, Hauk number five, shutdowns, greater all, 26, Dyke, uh, holds, Dykeman with 16, and then quality starts, Gray with 16 at number two, Nola also tied with number two for 16. Our pitching is incredible this year. So as we go into September, I'll say it, what my goal is. I would love to beat the Mariners. Um, means this might not happen now. Um, Mariners win record of 100 and I believe it was 16 games. So we still have quite a bit to go. We have 26 games to win. It's going to be tough, but we've had pretty hot months so far. That little six-game winning or losing streak kind of really hurt us there at the end of August. But... So we'll come back. Um, Josiah Gray should join us in the uh, um, in in September. I might actually, as I'm thinking this through, might move this to a six man rotation. Just to, I mean, we have the talent. There's no big drop off. We keep Paddock up here, and it gives us, you know, it it lessens the load a little bit. So we might look at that when we come back. Um, Let's just take a look at everyone's war real quick. Who's having an incredible season? I mean, Kalenic having a 5.3 war season. Pache, uh, Hayes having a 3.2 in war. And Hayes hasn't played every game. He's played in 102 games. He's only started 68, one away from 69. Nice. And he's still putting up 3.2. So that's what I was saying. Every time this guy's in the lineup, he produces for us. Um, Ruiz having a very good year. Bruhan having a good year. Um, I mean, everyone who's supposed to be having a good year really is. Um, just happy um, all around for, for our lineup, who's just raking it, and deservedly so. Uh, Nola, 4.2 war. Earned most of that, though, I believe, with Philly. Yeah, 0. .6 with us, so we can't really take all the credit for that. Uh, Greater, although, having a, an excellent... A season as a reliever first I think this mo this is mostly coming in the second half of the year because at it, it, the deadline I think he only maybe had like a 0. 0.3 war so he has really made himself valuable over the second half of the season uh Hauk is picking it up Woods Richardson's doing well Scooble is you know the always consistent lefty um so everyone in our starting rotation is a you know having a good season so let's keep it up. We'll come back for September. We will simulate the month of September. Um, hopefully we clinch here relatively soon. And then we just pray for no injuries as we get ready for the playoffs. So I appreciate you all joining me. We are cruising, and I look forward to getting through September with you. Peace out, guys.